Now we're going to log into WordPress for the first time and check out our themes. I'm going to show you how to activate a current theme as well as how to upload a new theme. So head on over to your WordPress admin screen and type in your username and password. And this is what your dashboard looks like for the very first time. So where you find themes is right here under appearance. And you can click the little arrow or you can click the button that says appearance. And you get to the same or a similar place. So here you start out with themes. And you can manage themes or install themes. In this case, um, note that 2010 1.2 is installed by default. And the, probably the first thing you want to do before you do anything else, including installing a theme, is update to WordPress 3.5.1, which is the latest version. So we're going to do that right now by clicking this link right here. And then choose Update Automatically. And then go back to Appearance and Themes and you'll see here that WordPress 3.5.1 actually installed a couple more themes for you. There's the 2011 theme and the 2012 theme. If you want to activate one of these themes, you can, but let's go look at the 2010 theme and see what it looks like. So it looks like this. Pretty humdrum, right? And if you have a theme installed currently, but it's not active, like these two down here called 2011 and 2012, you can activate either one of them by clicking on the activate link. So we're going to activate the 2012 theme. And you'll notice that once that's activated, it will show up in the top part here. So we now have this theme activated, the 2012 theme. Let's go back over here and refresh the page. And this is what it looks like. Even more humdrum. Okay. So you can do a couple things from this point on. You can modify this theme or you can add a different theme. So let's just show you real quickly how to how to modify this theme a little bit. I'm not going to go into all the steps, but you can see from this little sub menu that you can customize the theme. And you can put in a site title and tagline. So I could put up, you know, how to use how to install and use Backup Creator. And then you saw that typed in automatically right here. Okay. You can also change colors. So the header text color, I can make any virtually any color I want, like this. Click there. And then the background color I can make a different color like this. That's a really bad color for the header. Let's just choose this. Go there. Go there. So we made that red. Made the background grayish. If you move the little wheel, the little circle, you can make it any, virtually any color you want. Like that. It's hideously ugly, but you get the drift, right? You can also add a background image, and that would be something in this area here where it's green right now, not where it's highlighting, but where it's green right here. So you click on the little no image button, and you can actually drop a file right in this little box, or you can click on select a file, and that will bring up this. And then you can just go navigate to whatever file whatever image you want. You can also choose whether you have a static front page, like a home page that um, is like a sales letter or whatnot, or you can have it be like a blog where your latest posts show up on the front page. It's up to you. Once you're done, you can hit save and publish, like so. And if you go back here, and reload the page 
reloads with the colors and little customizations that, that you just did. Okay, let's go back to manage the themes. We're going to close that box. We can go over here and change the header. We can put an image in there of 960 by about 250. Again, we can choose the file here or if there's a file already in our media library, we can just choose the image. It's very straightforward and simple. When you're done, you would click Save Changes. You can also go back to the themes and select what widgets you want in the sidebar. So there's already some there. Okay. And you can also change your menus. So you, you can actually drop in menus. So for example, if you want to change the menu uh, or add a menu, you could say top nav, oops, nav, create the menu. And then we could, put, you know, if we had a bunch of pages here, we could choose pages, add them to the menu, save the menu, go back here. Nothing's going to change here because I just made a menu item sample page, but you'll see if I do this, I can say uh, let's say I wanted to send people to another website. I can do this. Now Google's there. Save the menu. Go back here and reload, and you'll see it show up right here. Got that? So that's how you change the menus. So that's all theme-driven stuff. Um, if you actually want to upload your own theme, you go back to themes, choose install themes, and the, the best way to do this is to, you could go through here and choose whatever options you want and find a free theme in the wordpress.com or wordpress.org uh, repository, or you could actually upload a theme by choosing a theme file that you have in zip format. Simply go find it, select it, and then click the Install Now button. When you do that, the theme's ready to go, and um, you'll have to activate it. And once it's activated, it will be live on the site. All right, so that's how you install themes or customize existing themes.